There's no failure, only feedback. I think it was Shakespeare who once said, nothing is good or bad except thinking makes it so. Now was Shakespeare trained in NLP? I suspect not. Probably what was more likely was that his work influenced later thinking. What I do know, however, is that when you take action and get a result, you have the choice as to how to interpret that result. Maybe it's the case that what you were doing was successful, it was fantastic, you got a brilliant result, so therefore you can carry on doing more of the same and get more, even better results in your life. Or maybe you'll take the feedback that actually it wasn't quite right, I didn't get exactly what I wanted, therefore I need to change my behaviours to get a different result. What I also know is some people take the avenue of no, that was awful, it was useless, I've failed, I'm going to stop and never try it again. Now I don't know about you, but certainly out of those three, I know which one is the most empowering and which is the most useful. Actually, I've come to think that there's only one way to fail in life, and that's to stop taking action. That's to quit and not carry on doing what you're doing. Otherwise, you can just carry on and accept that whatever feedback you get either lets you know that you're on track or that you're not. Where you go from there is entirely your choice. And there have been some great examples throughout history of people who've really taken this on board and persevered through all adversity to get great results. It's said that Thomas Edison took 10,000 attempts to get a light bulb that would work consistently and repeatedly over time. Colonel Sanders, over a thousand attempts to get his chicken recipe accepted by a restaurant. And if you think about most parents, how do they approach teaching their children to walk. Well luckily what they don't do is say okay you've had your 23rd attempt at walking you're now going to stop because we think you failed and you're not going to walk for the rest of your life. Well fortunately the majority of people don't do that and I think that's quite a good job actually. However you have to be realistic and think that sometimes you won't get the result that you want and sometimes you'll, you'll fall and stumble slightly. I think the question is are you going to fall backwards and stop and quit or are you going to fall forwards learn something from it and get ahead of the game very often these thinking patterns come across in people's language just consider the following statements I am a failure as opposed to I failed or even I have failed or I haven't succeeded or I haven't succeeded yet the first one, I failed, is really a statement at the identity level. That person thinks that they themselves have become a failure. Going all the way through to, I haven't succeeded yet. And of course there's an assumption or a presupposition in the language that at some point they will succeed in the future. I think that's quite, uh, I think that's quite interesting, the way that you can change your language and change your results. But then again, it is called neuro-linguistic programming.